This video will show you how you can reverse an open credit that you applied to your customer's invoice in error. There are two options. First, we need to determine if the invoice has a remaining balance or if that invoice was just recently closed. The second option would be if the invoice has a zero balance and you're unable to reopen this invoice with the debit memo. Let's start with the first scenario. We had an application of an open credit for $90 to invoice number 1025 for our customer IBS. This was applied in error and we need to correct it. To do this, we need to post a debit memo to this invoice number 1025 to reinstate that $90 balance and then we need to do a credit memo to give our customer their open credit back of the $90. Here's how we do that. Go to Accounts Receivable, Transactions, Debit Memos. I'm going to pull up my customer IBS. I'm going to put the correct date in here. And I want to apply this to my invoice 1025. And I need to reinstate the $90 open credit that was applied in error. For the distribution, I'm going to keep it to the default of the sales adjustments account and post. Now you need to give your customer their open credit back on their account. Go to Accounts Receivable, Transactions, Credit Memos. I'm going to select my customer, IBS. I'm going to use the same date that I used on my debit memo. I'm going to apply it to open credits in the amount of $90. For the distribution, I'm going to keep the default of the sales adjustments and post. Now when I look at the detail report for my customer IBS, I can see the invoice 1025 has now been reinstated to the balance of the 888.63. I see an open credit application with a debit memo that's kind of washed itself out and the $90 of open credits has now been reinstated. And now in the general ledger, I can see that my debit memo and my credit memo has washed each other out. I have a credit and a debit to my 6150 account, and I have a debit and a credit to my 1210 accounts receivable account. To correct an application of an open credit, that closed an invoice, we need to actually recreate an invoice to reinstate this original invoice balance. And then we'll post a credit memo to restore the open credit balance. We're going to go to Accounts Receivable, Transactions, Invoices. And we're going to pull up our customer sharp and we're going to reinstate the original $265 balance. I'm going to put my desired date. You can put a description if you want. I'm going to go to the line items. You, you can select a line item or you can just select miscellaneous charge and put to reinstate invoice 1025 closed in air with open credit. I'm going to use the $265 full amount I don't want to affect my sales tax because that's already been recorded and paid. And we'll say accept. I'm now going to go ahead and OK this line item and post my invoice. Now we have to go in and give our customer Sharp their $265 of open credits back. To do that, we go to Transactions, Credit Memos. We select our customer Sharp. Use the same date as the invoice you reinstated. We're going to restore the open credit. This is going to be applied to open credits. And it's going to be for $265. For the distribution, we're going to zero out the default sales adjustments. And we want it to go to the same account as our invoice that we reinstated. And then we'll post. To verify our postings, 
For our open invoice report, we can see the reinstatement of the invoice for the $265, and our customer has their open credit of the $265 back. And in the general ledger, we can see that the invoice and the credit memo have a complete washout of both accounts.